All right, guys, so I'm starting this a bit late, um, later than I should be. Um, so I came up this morning. Um, again, observation is key when it comes to uh, keeping any kind of reef tank. Um, <clears throat> I come up this morning, and my green slimer is 100% tissue gone. So it had like an RTN. Um, so I am in the process of doing a water change right now to try and help. Um, um, another one of my uh, SPS coral has what looks like a little bit of um, STN going on. It has had that. I figured that it was probably... Um, just a little bit of coral warfare going on because where they did touch they had some issues uh, looks like a bird's nest has a little bit of STN going on um, so I'm gonna do my weekly water change um, like I usually do do it right now um, and hope for the best that things kind of don't get any worse um, Again, not really sure what's going on. Uh, I did notice some um, closing up of my mushrooms the other day, <clears throat> but that was pretty much about it. Um, everything else seems to be open and puffed up. So again, not really sure what's going on, um, but we're just gonna, you know, document what's what's happening. So. Um, I didn't show you guys the ugly phase of this reef, so might as well show you guys when things go south and just to stay the course and things happen, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really, I have no idea what happened. Um, I did notice the last few days that my snails, I guess you would say, were like, they'd fall over and just not much after that. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like a, an emergency run, I guess you would say. Um, but, oh, excuse me, that was gross. But, we will try our best right here and see what's uh, going on. Um, lost two, definitely two, um, coral. Green Slimer and uh, the, I can't even remember what the name of it was, but that was from Top Shelf, the other one. So, we're going to do a little bit more than probably it's three gallon water change instead of a two. Excuse me. Ugh, that's disgusting. But we will uh, see what happens. Hopefully the tank is not going through a crash at the moment. Um, it could be a small crash, obviously. Um, but we're going to change out the carbon, get some new carbon in there just in case there's any, you know, if I can get it out, anything in there, pathogens or anything can help with taking care of that issue, but yeah, not, uh, not something you want to see when you first come observe the tank in the morning. Um, it is... Sunday, so this is my time to do my water change anyway, so we'll see. I mean, I, again, I don't know what's going to come of this issue, but we will uh, document the process, obviously, and go from there. I am going to rinse off my carbon bag and I will be right back. 
So, I have the carbon filled up, carbon bag refilled up, um, and we have to tie it real quick, and I don't tie it like in a knot, I just kind of cinch it. So. New bag of carbon. New filter pad. Time to fill with water. And again, I'm not exactly sure what happened. Um, not that it really matters at this point. Um, so. We're gonna get some fresh water in there. And basically, we will watch and observe this tank. Much clear, more clear over the next few days um, to see oh, exactly what's going on. So it's filling up as we speak. I am going to have to fill up my auto top off as well today, it looks like. So, yeah, I mean, um, let's see if we can't get a up close picture of the Slimer. It's hard to see, there's an algae film on the screen. But as you can see, the Slimer is just absolutely deteriorated um, had some RTN uh, this guy up here is skin is falling off as well um, everything else seems all right at the moment um, so we will see again it's more of like um, an emergency I guess you would say uh, but <sighs> This is, in one way, part of the hobby. Things happen, so um, I'm just going to try and address the problems when you see them arise. And right now, the problem is, I'm not sure. Um, after I do the water change and everything settles, I'm going to do a full test again tonight to see what's going on. I will do ammonias and everything um, just to see. I will set up some more water as well. Um, it's just, it's definitely odd, like looking at the Slimer, the tank has a bit of a, I mean, it doesn't smell terribly fishy. Um, smell to it but yeah it's just it's one of the things that happens um i've been here before <laughs> unfortunately but we're going to hope that uh things turn out all right and we'll go from there um so again i'll be observing and making sure uh, <clears throat> things don't go more south, I guess you would say. I have plenty of water to be able to do my 
water changes and everything. So, um, yeah, I will probably do another video when I do a full, what's it called, uh, test of the system tonight. Um, fish aren't lethargic or anything like that. It doesn't look like, um, looks like they're still swimming. Um, no problems, pr plenty of health to them. Uh, so, again, I'm not really sure what happened, what caused it, um, but we're going to go from here and see what we can do. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but we'll catch, uh, we'll see what, uh, what comes of the tank and, uh, I'll try and document as much as I can for you guys. All right. Later. All right, so the tank is finished up with water change. Everything is running now. Um, like I said, I replaced a bag of carbon um, in there. And fresh water. Uh, I'm going to go around and check all the snails, um, make sure none of them are dead. If they are dead, they're out. Um, we don't need any more, <coughs> you know, leaching in the system. Um, I'm going to add some cyclobacteria that I have kicking around. This is what I did the tank with. Um, I didn't have a problem with it. So I'm going to pour some in the back chamber, which is where my matrix media is to help with some uh, nitrifying bacteria just in case. Um, that's what's going on. And I have an ammonia spike that I haven't figured out yet. Um, I do have a nice little film LG on here that kind of popped up over the next, the last two days. Um, so again, I am going to be observing and trying to possibly figure out what's going on. Um, I probably should just do my testing right now and go from there. And uh, that's probably what I will do, but um, yeah, unfortunately, this is a possible part of the hobby for a lot of people. Um, I've gone through it at least two times before on other reef systems where I had some. I had a, a ammonia spike in one of the systems and things went south pretty quickly so and I didn't have any uh, water at the time to be able to take care of that issue so being here now I do have some water and it does the water does not smell pleasant but I've definitely smelt it being worse, I guess you could say. Um, tank looks incredibly bad right now, um, so forgive me, but uh, we are going to check this snail right here, which is my turbo snail. Doesn't stink. He's got his little plate on the bottom. So we're going to move him just to a different location. That way I can verify he moves if he does because he hasn't been moving at all right now at the moment. Uh, here's another. And that one fell out. I'm not sure where it went. But I'm not too, too worried about the smaller snails. Um, That being said, if all the small snails kind of have an issue, I'm, I'm kind of screwed here. Because um, that is a very large amount of ammonia that could be going into the reef system. But, again, observation is pretty key here. Um, haven't changed anything. So, not really sure what has gone on. Um, 
yeah, so as you can hear, I'm kind of a little bit lost for words on what's what's happening with the tank, so um, forgive me if I don't sound very enthusiastic about <laughs> what I am dealing with. Again, I've been here before um, in my 40 breeder, and we will overcome the issues. Um, yeah, the only thing that did change is I had to do some fragging the other day. Uh, I gave my buddy 207 Nano Reefing a few frags and in the process of doing so, I broke off some of my bird's nest on the back which made two frags. The Satosa I broke off a quite a big chunk of that and there's little pieces of those on the back floor as well. I don't see any issues with the Satosa, the Monty, Montes. Um, they all have good polyp extension. Doesn't look like they're having issues. Um, my Oregon Tort looks to be all right. Um, my smooth skin acro which is in the middle the green one looks all right it looks like it's browning a little bit that could be just stress from the system right now and my garf bonsai looks a little closed up a little brown um but from what's going on whatever it is obviously understandable um but yeah, I figured I would definitely document this for you guys, um, show you guys that it's not all, you know, sunshine and rainbows, things do happen with these systems. So, we will observe and see what's going on. Um, today's probably going to be a long day of just making sure the, the, the reef is chugging along, I guess. Um, I'll have some room now so I might move my um, smooth skin over here unless that other acro up top that one right there doesn't survive uh, that has a little bit of STN going on that top one on the back side um, this guy is gone the one up the top left you might not even be able to see it Above the Pasalpora, this guy right here is he had some RTN as well, so he's got a slight bit of polyps up at the top that are showing, but again, I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Um, looks almost like my jawbreakers are wilting away, they're all closed right up, um, along with the purple monsters. The entire purple monsters are just closed right up um, I'm not again not sure what had happened uh, it could have been coral warfare I guess um, from the sunset Monty but at the same time I killed that back a little bit the other day so I'm not really sure what's going on but all the purple monsters are closed up um, green Slimer is completely gone I can't remember this guy's name up here, but it was from Top Shelf. That is RTN. The acro right here, that's STN. And my um, bird's nest right there, that little piece of it, you can see back there, um, has some STN going on as well right now. And the two frags on the floor, one of them is showing STN while the other one looks great. So, um... Yeah, not really sure. Not sure what's going on here. Um, obviously, something is going on in the system, and it being so small, things happen really, really quickly. And I am, uh, I'm here to uh, document it so that everybody else can, you know, see that it can all go 
south pretty quickly in these systems. Um, daisy cutters are all closed up as well. I didn't notice that until right now, but um, yeah. What else we got here observation wise? Um, scrambled eggs are a little closed. The plate coral is a little closed up as well. I mean, I did just do a three gallon water change on the system, so. And anything is possible right now. But looking around, the uh, fire and ice zones are closed up. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened in here. But I will try and get to the bottom of it. I'm going to break out my test kits here and start testing and uh, see what I can find.